Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Back with more Psalms. This time we're going to be in Psalm 19 again. And this reminded me of a comment from one of my, I believe a subscriber, or at least a commenter, in one of my videos like a week or so ago. And he was talking about what if you've made a, done a sin and you don't know what that sin is. The counsel I gave came from Leviticus chapter 5, where the Israelites had an offering set up for people who sinned unknowingly. That's actually a thing. And I think that's a valid question. You know, what if you don't know you've done something that's a sin? What if you don't know about something sinful that you're doing? It's not like, you know, we can know everything. It's not like we can remember everything. Maybe we haven't read something yet. Maybe we haven't learned something yet. Maybe our heart has deceived us in some way. And so my advice was like, you know, well, there was an offering for sin, so you can always ask God, God, forgive me for the sins I've committed that I don't know I've committed. And you can also ask God, well, what have, you know, have, am I doing anything? Have I committed anything that's wrong in your sight? You know, please tell me. Please show me. And then when I read this in Psalm 19, it's verses 12 and 13, I was like, this is yet one more aspect of the unknown sin factor. It's really good. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Not only can you ask God to remind, to show you, you know, what have you done? Of course, you can, that's just based on the thought that we can ask God for anything. If we pray something according to his will, he will hear us. And if our desire is to not sin against him, he's certainly going to help us. And if we have committed a sin, he certainly knows, you know, hey, we've sinned, we've done X, Y, and Z wrong, and he can tell us. We can also ask him to keep us away from sins that we don't know we would commit. Since he is all-powerful, he can keep us from doing things that we would otherwise do. And if we have a heart that seeks him and wants him and we don't want to sin, but we don't know the extent of our heart, we don't know all of our own sinful motives. We may not even know all of the sins that there are to be committed. Uh, after all, not everyone has read this book. Unfortunately, very few have completed it in its entirety. Very few read it on a regular basis. If you're one of those people, please change that. that that's one thing that can, that can help you and stop you right there. That kind of goes in with another message that I put out today. The verse is right above these, actually, about reading God's law. God's testimony, God's commandments, God's statutes. Once you read them, once you know them, then you can guard your heart from doing those things. But if you forget, if you haven't read it yet, or maybe you're not doing anything that's blatantly anti-biblical, but your heart may not be in the right place, and let's be honest, not all of us are in a place at some times where our hearts aren't quite right before the Lord, aren't quite right before other people. Ask Him to keep you away from secret faults. Ask Him to keep you away from sins that you may not even know you're committing. Ask God to keep you blameless, to stop you from being presumptuous. As you're praying, of course, your mind goes, okay, you know, I need to be careful not to presume. I need to be careful, you know, to not do anything that I might, you know, that I myself, I don't know what I'm doing. You're going to think to yourself, well, I want to understand my own motives. I want to understand why I do what I do. So there's that. But beyond the self-reliance, the self-thought, well, that's important. What's more important is there's a God who's a lot bigger and a lot smarter than you who can guide your mind and guide your heart and keep you from those things to begin with. So ask him. Once you've studied his word, once you know as much as you can know, ask him, God, keep me from sin. Keep, not just the things I know, keep me from the things I don't know. Keep my heart solid and keep my heart before you. Keep me from doing something presumptuously. Cleanse me from any secret faults. Help me to understand my errors because, quite frankly, we can't even understand our own errors and our own hearts that well sometimes. Maybe a little more often than we'd care to admit. So hopefully that is helpful to you guys. Hopefully, dude who left that comment, hopefully you see this video and hopefully this will be of help to you and it's one more answer that I can give to you. Um, as I just read it myself, something that I learned that I hadn't really thought about before. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.